the Liberal Party are preferencing people who are not just anti-Semites, mm -hmm. but they are Nazis. Uh, and we ought to stop using this neo-Nazi tag, Nazis. That's who's getting preferences from the Liberal Party. So, Clive, I understand that the Premier is outraged that the Liberals in some seats are preferencing you guys over Labor because you guys are Nazis. <laughs> What's your answer to that? Well, the only Nazi in this state, of course, is Dan Andrews. So he's the one that uh, shot people in the backs for expressing their opposition. He's the one that entered people's homes and took pregnant women under handcuffs. He's the one that authorised it all. He's the one that locked down businesses that closed the community. He's the one that's done those things. He's the one that's brought in legislation to bring in vaccine mandates to stop people from working, to stop freedom of speech. And, you know, you, you resort to calling people names when you haven't got a legal argument. You know, governments may rise and fall, but ideas go on forever. And this election should be about ideas, about what Victoria can do to be better. Now, Dan Andrews was health minister from 2008. Our health system's in a tremendously bad situation. And, and, and just to clarify, how many Orthodox Jews does Labor have running? None. Oh, okay. And how, how many do you guys have running in the upper house? In the upper house, we've got total, we've got 16 people running and uh, we've got a couple of Jewish people running in our election, but they're running as Victorians because, you know. But are they, are they just so we know, in case, this is who Daniel Andrews is classifying as Nazis? He is, that's right. And, and it would be a direct affront to those candidates given the history that's taken place for them to, and it's such insensitivity. It's the idea of attacking people and hurting them at, and thinking you can shut them up. But freedom calls out very loudly to Victorians and it tells them that their right to votes and their rights as Australians still exists. That's not just important for Victorians, it's important for all Australians. That's not just important for some Jews, it's important for all Jews. It's important for more Catholics, it's important for all Protestants. We don't want to marginalise people based on their religious beliefs. We want a more plural society, one where, where democracy can flourish. And if uh, UAP do hold the balance of power, will you ever instruct Victoria Police to hold a synagogue in siege to stop uh, the, the worshippers from going in there to pray on the holiest day of the Jewish calendar? Of course not. You know, And we wouldn't stop a Christian church or a, a Hindu church at all. I mean, uh, religious freedom is an important tolerance. And I think you know that's recognised, if we're talking about the Jewish community, it's recognised by the Jewish community, it's recognised by the State of Israel. It's a practice in the United States. There are many organisations that have been forward to have religious tolerance. And that's what we need to have because we don't want people ever in history to be singled out again because of their beliefs or their religion, or because of a racial group that they belong to, to be persecuted, to lose their possessions in their home and think they've lost all hope for themselves. So we've got to learn from history to make sure that doesn't happen in our society.